My name is Catherine Jadot, I'm a marine biologist and I have a PhD in marine ecology. But what I do here is I teach Cambridge University A-level course in marine science. My name is Anna, I am 22, I'm from Brazil and I'm an A-level student here in Trek. I chose Trek to do the A-level because we are in a very small tropical island and here we have different very important marine ecosystems. We have coral reefs, we have seagrass and we also have mangroves. So it's the opportunity to see in practice everything that we learn in the classroom. We also have uh, the the chance to dive here as much as we want in our free time and the structures we deployed here during the last few years bring a lot of biodiversity so diving is really good it's amazing we see a lot of fish a lot of inverts and I love it What is really exciting and very valuable here is that all the practicals are done directly in the marine environment. So you can see when we talk about seagrass, you can actually go and survey a seagrass bed. When you talk about predation on the reef, you can go on the reef and, say, and see what is happening down there. So that's really, really exciting. Living on such a small island is actually offering a lot of opportunities to connect and talk directly not only with the scientists but also with the teachers and all the volunteers that I always attract. So it, it offers a very relaxed atmosphere, much less stressful that you can have at, um, at university. Another thing that I really like here, it's very unique to track, is that we are actually going on a 10 day field trip all across Borneo. important to do the road trip because we got the opportunity to see more about Saba, so about the state that we're in and about Borneo and uh, we definitely saw with our own eyes what we're learning in classrooms so the impacts that humans have on marine ecosystems and fish populations when we visit the fish markets. <music> And what we do during this fell trip is that we're going to visit every single fish market along the way to compare the relationship between the fishing gear, the population, the relationship they have with the fish they are bringing back and the wealth of that community. To really see the dependence of every single community we're going to visit along our way to the fish. There is one thing that is really, really unique to Pom Pom Island. Pompom Island reefs have been devastated by many years of bomb fishing, which is a very, very destructive fishing practice. What I love about here is that you can directly help restore the reef by building artificial reef, propagating corals onto those artificial reefs. You can directly see that your work has an impact on that coral reef community that is right in front of track. So that's very rewarding and you know that your work is actually um, useful. The A-levelers spend a lot of time together and even though we have uh, different backgrounds, we're all very like-minded people that share the same interest for conservation and for the ocean. So the best thing about living in Pong Pong is definitely being able to wake up in the morning and go for a swim in the ocean. It's a very relaxed environment and we finish the day watching beautiful sunsets at the beach.